It really isn't the St. Patrick's Day in Dallas without the St. Patrick's Day Parade along Greenville Avenue. This being the 42nd year of the parade, we spoke to one of the brains behind the operation who's been around since the very jump to hear how residents and businesses had to fight for their right to patty. 1979, the first year of the parade, I was uh, home from college on spring break and just happened to be on Lower Greenville and uh, all of a sudden everybody in the bar kind of walked out on the street and for about 10-15 minutes this little tiny parade went by. It was uh, a couple of pickup trucks, some beer trucks, and a couple of convertibles with a city council guy in it. And everybody kind of hooted and hollered for a few minutes and went back in the bar and started drinking again. I got my bar involved here, the Milo Butterfingers that I work at. And we, uh, we got a pickup truck, threw a keg in the back, and joined the parade. And we did that for the next 15, 20 years. Then in 1987, um, the Lower Greenville neighborhood people had got a little tired of how big it had gotten and how they turned into this big, big party that people would, you know, throw beer cans in their yard and everything. So the city didn't give us a permit in 1987 for the parade. So that year, um, we had what was called the Unparade. Everybody decided that they were just going to drive around in circles on Lower Greenville and have their own parade. Having that happen and having to close the street down for all the people that were hanging out like it was Mardi Gras, uh, the city decided the next year to go ahead and reissue a permit with the caveat being that we had to do it on Upper Greenville. In 1989, we started the parade as it is today, coming south from Park Lane to Mockingbird. That one year that they had that unparade, that party started on Lower Greenville, and that became what is known now as the block party. This corner is probably where the hugest crowd is for the parade. When it gets to about Lover's Lane and, uh, you know, just before Lover's and Old Town there, uh, the crowd starts thickening on both sides of the street. And then the, as you get into the entertainment district, you've got more restaurants and bars. Uh, it gets a little more rowdy as you go along, and it gets a little thicker. It grows as you go along the route. So friends, here I am at Milo Butterfingers. It's the corner of Greenville Avenue and SMU Boulevard where the parade route ends. It's also where you're gonna wanna grab a couple beers to celebrate another exciting St. Patrick's Day here in Dallas. If you wanna learn more about the history behind the parade, head to our website, cw33.com.